Oh no. Oh shit. my God. <gasps> Hi, I'm Jessa. I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. House of the Dragon, season one, episode five. Title unknown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last episode, things got steamy. And you know uh... what? Having just watched <laughs> our video this morning when you posted it, I still agree with everything we said. I think, yeah, I think we read that episode really well. And I, I think it's clearly like a very central episode. The events of that episode yes. are obviously going to have very long yes. reaching consequences. Uh, with the um, niece and uncle hooking up with said niece um, hooking up with her um sworn knight with the dismissal of Otto with the Mm -hmm. another lie um that uh could end a friendship yes with um, an agreed proposal of um uh Rhaenyra to uh (laughs) Lenor Lenor Valarian yes and with Damon once again being banished he was unbanished for 24 whole hours. Damon, you banished. are forever banished. <laughs> Just, if you don't hear anything back from us, please consider yourself banished. Don't call <laughs> us, we'll call you. <laughs> don't raven us, we'll raven you. Yeah. I think we're doing a wedding this episode, which I'm sure is going to be a romantic and warm and loving time where everything goes perfectly. Mm -hmm. I think so, for sure, definitely. I believe this is the final episode with the young ones. Are you sure? Because we've said that every single episode. We have. We we sure have. But this this one, it really, really is. It's been all over everything. I love that I feel so comfortable with it that I'm like creating new rhythms to like accompany it. Like I'm not yeah, even yeah, yeah. going like little with- little jazz riffing over here. Yes. <laughs> Body's chirping, sun's yet to shine, horse is galloping in. Rabbit, dear. Oh my god. Fine challenge. I'm already mad. Oh, so pretty. You know what? Honestly, she's, she's not missing life. Damon. <laughs> <laughs> she is really not. He's not wearing that hood again. Why is he so dramatic at all times? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at him. Be normal for Husband. five seconds, Damon. Okay. Challenge. Oh, have you at last come to consummate our marriage? Damon! Damon! Our sheep are prettier, after all. Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company. Cast you aside in favor of a little girl. (laughs) I love her. (laughs) Me too. I knew you couldn't finish. (laughs) Usually this is a time when I would like to offer some positive things about Damon. I unfortunately have um, nothing to offer at this time. Mm -hmm. We appreciate your respect for uh, me and my family. (laughs) in this trying and devastating time i love that we get exactly three minutes with uh raya royce and we're like completely on our team we're like no that's it well that's the thing about our love for damon is that we're like fully aware that he's a piece of garbage so we're always like obviously (laughs) the other person is right like we're not blind to him yeah right like is he blind? His wife was so hot. I'm so confused. I correct. 
An honest mistake, perhaps, but I did not foresee this. You should have. If you had not been so relentless in advancing Egon as heir. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. I wish that right now I could say Rhaenyra would never do that to you, Allison. <sighs> I wish I could yell at your father and tell you that would never happen to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's looking rough. Yep. My father has but just returned from his long journey. Well, she grew up. Mm-hmm. Your Grace's arrival. Beg your pardon, Your Grace, I may be mistaken. The same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the Princess's chambers. Well, that condition must be something very serious. What happiness it is to have been wrong. So he's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Look, he has a, a model welcome. city in the corner. They can bond over that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Princess. I missed you. I missed you so much. She's wearing her like dragon rider clothes. Which yeah, I feel sure like is. A slight. Are you well? Very. Good. I congratulate Good. you, Lord Lionel. Yeah, as she comes in all like athletic, cool girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like his dragon's dead. Yeah. Smelling of dragon, as everyone mm. kept saying to Rhaenyra in the first episode. Mm hmm. Though I do wish we could meet under happier pretenses. Aren't you meeting Damon's wife? As a wedding? The Lady Rhea Royce has passed. We only got her for that. <laughs> Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well known. There, there's not a single person in this room who buys this. A sad thing that she and Damon have no heirs to succeed her. She stood to inherit Runestone. Perhaps we can turn to water. Happy <laughs> He's like, I really can't handle this right now. I am about to throw up. He said, I have the flu. I have the flu and COVID together, and yep. I would like to go to my house. The Princess Rhaenyra. It's long past time our houses were united in blood. The last pillars of old Valyria. You honor both me and my house, Your Grace. There are certain details I would wish clarified. I, I just love the costume design for her to be wearing this. It's uh -huh, really great. And everyone else is wearing this like dark clothing. She and Selena's firstborn child, regardless of gender, will inherit the Iron Throne from her. Well, can I presume that in keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh. Born Valarians. Surely, Lord Corners. <laughs> you are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter simply because she's a woman. <laughs> Get him some hot tea, y'all. Lena and Renero's children shall take their father's name. Valarian. I don't in keeping the I don't think you should have said that. However What? Such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so. Okay, okay, that's a good that's compromise. a good compromise. I mean, dragons are cooler than seahorses. I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. Yeah, and I still don't understand why your sea horses have hooves. <laughs> I need you to tell me the evolutionary benefit to that, <laughs> so they can kick all their enemies. <laughs> it's not for a lack of trying. There are those who like goose very well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I find it a bit greasy for my taste. Guys, this is a very, I can't with this metaphor. You gotta stop. You, <laughs> you must stop. She just said, I find goose a little too greasy for my taste. That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. <laughs> it's a very mature proposal. Okay, I guess that's the benefit of marrying your cousin. It's like you grew <laughs> up together. 
You can just have a like nice calm. A chat. real open, yeah. Hey Cuzo, I know you're gay. That's chill yeah. with me. I'm a little bisexual. Right. But like mostly I'm into Damon. So. Exactly. <laughs> like, are we good? And he's like, we're chill, actually. He and Renera are walking the coast. Good. Do they seem familiar? Mom's like, I know what's up. They grew up together. <laughs> Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. Okay, so mom knows and yeah, dad, dad doesn't. Yeah, is... His true nature. Okay. He's still young. He's not gonna- It's not a phase, That's not how it dad. Works, dad. dad. it's not a phase. <laughs> Pleasure in the world, like... Betting a woman. Ew. Look how, like, tactile they are. They just love each other. Yeah. You were robbed of the crown. I never the wore the crown. I mean, because the realm would not have She's it. like, yes, true, but also that's... That's not sales. what I'm talking about. Necessary. I myself have put the business behind me, callers. I love them. They're Me too. Great. Me too. I adore them. You will need a... This episode is so beautiful. Look at that I know. shot. Stunning. Cute. I mean, not for nothing. This is much cuter than watching someone shave their boyfriend's chest. Yeah. Oh, wow. He is really working it right now. In the dream white shirt. <laughs> Does he know? He must, right? Oh yeah. There is a good and, and decent man that you you did not choose him. Mm. If there were another path, one that led to freedom. Oh, he doesn't know. He must not know. He wants them to run away together. <laughs> oh, you sweet baby summer child. She's a princess, princess, sweetie. She's not gonna run off to be a commoner. I'm asking you to come with me. Away from all of this. She's like, you can't be though. You mustn't be. <laughs> Free to go where we like, to love as we like. A... Do you know her? You could marry me. Oh. Marriage for love, not for the crown. She's like, but I don't even love you. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that vibe from her. Oh, baby, I feel so bad for him. He's very sweet. You think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to a shy? Okay, you could have said this nicer, Rhaenyra. What, well, my, um... No. no. He doesn't marriage. want to be a side piece. Don't do this. It does not have to be the end. Oh, Rhaenyra. And I have an understanding. Oh, no. Leave to pursue his own interests. Help. Oh, dear. The thing is, she's so young and she doesn't, yeah. like, she's new to it all. She really doesn't understand it. White cloak, it is the only thing I have to my fucking name. Oh boy. <sighs> That's rough. That was painful. That was horrible to watch. Consequences, Renera. Yeah. Welcome to him. Sex is complicated. <laughs> also maybe learning the rules of sex from Damon wasn't the best idea right and I mean you know this is why people use sex workers that are in power because they understand the rules and and it's, right. and, and it's like a fair exchange you know yeah all of that travel could not have been good for him no. Not the princess, sir. The queen. <laughs> I do ship him and Alison. I fear I must question you on a, on a delicate matter, Sir Kristen. Oh no, he's gonna find out right now. 
because she thinks it was about Damon. Oh boy. He already knows about Damon though. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, well, you seem to think so in the last episode. I know, I, I assumed so, but not now with this proposal and everything, because I don't think mm. he, he didn't seem like someone who knew about that. The lapses. It happened, your grace. Mm. I have committed it. Oh. Ooh. At her instigation, it is true, but that should, it is no excuse. Oh my God. Why would she? My oath has been broken. Oh my God. This is why I have dishonored myself. How on, there are no Hufflepuffs allowed in King's Landing. They, they, they can't survive. They no. just cannot survive. They weren't made no. for it. Having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. This, by the way, folks, is why we talked about that being a complicated scene for him. Yes, and a power imbalance. Because notice how when he started telling her, he said, at her behest, of course, but I did do it. So now does she think that she, does she think Rhaenyra had sex with both of them? The jury's still out, but I think maybe she'll think that the whispers saw something, like they misconstrued mm. what they saw. And of course, Rhaenyra didn't mention a single word to her. Right, about, about that. Him. Oof, boy. It's messy. Our girl, Rhaenyra, she, <laughs> she really said, I am a teenager coming to the throne. Yeah. <laughs> she said, euphoria with dragons. <laughs> oh, she did say euphoria with dragons. <laughs> she said, I have never, ever, ever been happier, she said. Ah! Oh my god, yes. You're looking great, Vasira. You're, you've never looked better. Honestly, I think a hammer is the best way to help him sleep at this point. Just. That was visceral. <laughs> I was thinking just like knocking him out, but I but realized in the context of this. Your mouth <laughs> noise was dark. Will I be remembered as a good king, Lionel? You'll be remembered as a good dad. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't light the kingdom on fire. Okay. That's true. There will certainly be Targaryens that are worse than you. You know what I would call you? A laissez-faire king. Well said. Well said. Hardly makes a good song, does it? To be sung at feasts in a hundred years. Five hundred. He said legacy. What is a legacy? You have carried King Jaehaerys's legacy. Is it not better to live in peace than to have songs sung after you are dead? Wise words. This man is awesome. Amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see more of him. I'm really enjoying him so far. Mm-hmm. Because everything he's said in the season so far has been spot on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. I love that they went past him like it shook the camera. <laughs> <laughs> same that's how i feel about this little lannister man too tbh yeah Kilo lord jason jeez i could think of no better man than <laughs> that is the perfect naming of him well, yeah this is why men wage war because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time Wigs. excuse me somebody punch him that's the lamest joke jason that's not even a good misogynistic joke do better No cutters. I was most distressed to hear of the Lady Rhea's tragic passing. I'm very sorry for your loss. Lady Rhea was a unique character. Her kind is not soon to be seen again. She reminded me a lot of Lyanna Stark, actually. Mm-hmm. Oh, this Look Lady White, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, and their son and heir, <laughs> Selena Velaryon. They look like the, the cast of Black Panther concert. walking on the red carpet. This is exactly right. We yes. have not seen the <laughs> likes of fashion in Game of Thrones since. Okay? Yes. They uh, wish that they were that. Oh my God. Yes. Look at this <laughs> entrance right now. Lena with the off the shoulders dress. She looks fabulous. 
I am obsessed. Uh, That's yes. incredible. <laughs> I think it's really sweet that they get to have this like lavender marriage. It's not fully lavender, but yeah, it's and that they're not going to, yeah, it's a really good arrangement for them, honestly. Yeah. And that they're not going to be fighting. Like that's not going to be like a source of, yeah. I want to see some really cute best friending (laughs) co-parenting. Me too. He's going to be a problem. Yeah, he is. Sir. Were you not banished two weeks ago? <laughs> Why must he strut downstairs this way? <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Dramatic entrance. Allison, what you doing, my girl? Girly, girly, what you doing? Allison, Allison, Allison. Look at the cleave. She's oh, feeling she's herself. Having a, she's having a Sansa Stark moment. She's no more smiles for Allison. Yeah. I believe that was called This Is Her Villain Origin Story. Yeah. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? <gasps> Green. Congratulations, stepdaughter. What a blessing this is for you. Great party, guys! I'm so stressed. Allison's stressing me out so much. With House Targaryen and House Valarian united, I hope to herald in a second age of... Damon is going to try and kill him for sure. I love the it's, big it's um, feather thing. This is a very stressful table. Just all of the various looks. It, it can't around. be a wedding in <laughs> Game of Thrones if you're not breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Weddings in God are so freaking stressful. Yep. Ooh, what will this one be called? The White Wedding? Well, I guess it depends on what happens. Yeah. Oh my God. They're so great. Like power couple right here. Yeah. Now I hope the boyfriend's not going to be a problem. He is. Why is he so messy? Like now he he has to understand there was no world. Right. Like, did he want to marry him? Like, this is the best opportunity for him. Yeah. She knows. Like they don't even really have to hide it that well. Yeah. They just need to be discreet. Yeah. There are so many troublemakers in this room right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh, fun. I love dance. You might wither in King's Landing, son. But you stood tall. Know that Old Town stands with you. In the Vale, men are made to answer for their crimes. Yeah, we saw how they answer for those in in the OG series. Royce of Runestone. And fly through the moon door, dude. Yeah. I am cousin to your late lady wife. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. Damon, please watch yourself. I'm positively bereft. <laughs> Such a tragic accident. You know better than you confessing some guilt, Sir Gerald. <laughs> Truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. Oh, Damon. She stood to inherit all of Runestone. Did she not? Is there a murder clause in there, though? After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eerie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Hmm. Damon, can't you just be nice for one day? Poor King. He's like, I... (sighs) Yeah, it's too much. Damon, uh... Same 
girl. <laughs> I I get it, but like. Yeah. Has anybody ever told you you're nearly as pretty as your brother? Hmm. Oh, you flatter me, my prince. I was sorry to hear about your lady wife. Don't be, I wasn't. <laughs> oh. So Kristen Cole. She might get under dragon rider. Right you appear to be every young maiden's dream. That's only because you don't know me yet. <laughs> oh, she saw it out. She said. She sure did. No secret. And now you know who's. Okay, so the boyfriend is just like. No, the boyfriend is saying you have leverage is what the boyfriend is saying. Well, right, but it's better than him being like. Um, right, like, jealous or you whatever. You have to run off with me. I don't like that you hang out with her, you know. Yeah. Oh, they make a handsome okay. match, okay. don't they? Never mind. Boyfriend what? is. He's trying to get him to mess up the wedding. The Joffrey Long. Joffrey? Like the Knight of Kisses. Oh, oh no. I... The Knight of Kisses, they call him. What's your business? You don't know me, Sir Kristen. No, but we are both deeply invested in this union. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god. Why are they. Why are Sir they Lane was quite dead. To so me? Stop. What are you doing? That's I know. The princess is to you. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're gonna kill him. And so are we all. You're gonna get him killed. Yep. Mm. Oh, many messy, hurt feelings flying around and... Uh. Um, boys, Don't snuggle right now, fellas. What? Like that was very <laughs> cute, but please. It is on the Mario suit Vettila Mary Isa Ruben. No, ne neki keta. Se pa una darias. Kesu ondo ila elastor. Ne kese din tok stor un aledra aderioris. Dries do rot unumakas. Sia presiris ohis. Sagon unat sahas. Damon! A wedding. What I tell y'all about a wedding. What now? Kidding me? Kristen, is this a joke? Oh shit. Wow. Stop this! Where's Renier? Oh no. Oh Holy shit. my god. <gasps> So much for happy marriage of convenience. It sucks when your paramour kills mine. Oh. <laughs> Oof. If I were Corliss and Rainis, I'd no pulling it out. out, pulling it out. Yeah. I'm yours, and you're mine. One flesh, one heart. Holy shit. That was a lot. I could just, I, I like when we were talking about, oh, there's going to be a wedding. I like, didn't think about 
what a Game of Thrones wedding would be until we started, like everything was too happy. And this is all due to sound design and like, and Mm -hmm. honestly, the direction of the scene and the cinematography of like the stress of them ripping those chickens apart and all of it. And then you was like, you started to get this eerie feeling. And I was like, what does this remind me of? And I was like, oh, the red wedding. And then I was like, oh, the red wedding, the red wedding. Oh, oh man god i think i think the lesson is that the gym teacher from mean girls was right and if you have sex you will get pregnant and die <laughs> that was i i was like trying to think like how does this rank amongst the other weddings in game of thrones and i mean i guess it doesn't have it doesn't have the impact of the it's red, wedding red wedding or the purple wedding no but I think as far as like the interpersonal stakes it feels higher because yeah. in those two weddings it was a, a huge battle act of revenge mm-hmm. and it was mostly about the impact that it had to uh, the audience about this like yes. I cannot believe we're just wiping like our who we thought again was our hero off the yes table. the purple wedding was delicious it's what we had been we all wanted eating. yeah yes but this the- is like it, it's crossing so there's so many different angles and so many people's emotions and it's ugh. yeah it's um like the red wedding and the purple wedding it does mark an inciting incident of yeah. whatever the next big stage is literally mm-hmm. because we get older cast next week like yeah. it is an incredible way to do that I think you're right I think the writing of it is like because of our characters are so rich in this like almost richer and because it's so intimate we know everybody better yeah all of that tennis that that emotional tennis is 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 strong that's our first introduction to Walter Frey we don't know him very well we like that's our introduction to him that if you slight him then he's gonna kill you right yeah and then that and we don't even know in Purple Wedding that Lady Elena is the one that's doing all of that yeah so in this one it's sort of like an even deeper emotional burden because we watch this man completely lose himself Right. This dutiful, like gentle, prior kind man right. just completely lose himself. And it also solidifies a problem that we have stated uh, with Rhaenyra is that she is selfish and she yes. doesn't know how to speak to people and she doesn't care mm-hmm. about other people's feelings. Yeah. And she doesn't until she hasn't until now really had to face consequences for that action Mm -hmm. and so I mean watching her you know feel horrible about um uh Lenore's um beloved um while they're getting married was was really nice because we haven't even seen her that emotional before and I think at her mother's oh at her mother's funeral but you know what I mean like yeah out of guilt or yeah so on because she's hurt a lot of people's feelings this season yeah like they were saying in the the behind the episode the way that we couldn't tell where the explosion was going to come from Mm -hmm. like it could have been uh uh, Damon's former uncle-in-law it could have been Mm -hmm. Damon causing some shit it could have Mm -hmm. been like there was that between Damon and Lady Lena there was yeah it just there's so many tensions flowing Alicent with her dramatic entrance I don't know are she and Rhaenyra gonna end up like rolling around on the floor snatching each other's hair out of their scalps like we there was we could feel something was Was the king gonna die like right yeah also, um, my heart and admiration goes out to the current hand of the king. I'm so sorry. I think you're very good at your job. I hope you live to die of old age. I don't think you're going to. And I'm real sad about that because you, you you seem to be a good guy with a good head on your shoulders. I hope yeah. it stays there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am interested to see what we are going to do with Sir Kristen. I feel thought that that was going to be the end of him uh right. it seemed to be a complete 
arc for him, but Lil' Miss Allison had other ideas. So yeah. yeah, that's interesting. He is so bound to her now because mm-hmm. she's the only one outside of Rhaenyra that knows that secret. Right. And so she, Allison, needs to keep him alive for proof so that she can later um mm. Uh, so she can later use it against Rhaenyra. So if he kills yeah. himself, then she doesn't have that leverage. Then it's just her word versus Rhaenyra's. And she's watched how that went down with her father. Right. So. Right. Well, what an episode. And that's the halfway point. That's it for the young actors. Applause for them. And hey, what an episode to go out on. It gave them their uh, one last chance to really just blow the doors off the place yeah they did well done them look forward to seeing what you do in the future you were fabulous (laughs) correct all uh, well said (laughs) all righty well thank you guys so much for watching please like this video subscribe to our channel hit the little bell icon so you know the next time that we upload bye bye